Hey, you're watching my series on the best free VSTs of all time, according to the Lander website. This includes run-throughs of compressors, EQs, and other effects. I've broken up these videos into uh, effects types and synths, so if you're interested in a different type of effects or uh, just the synths, check out the playlist that's linked at the end of this video. Let's, uh, let's get into it. A delay, otherwise known as an echo. Let's see, what's our first one? The spaceship delay. These are all really fun. Uh, by the way, I have a lot of fun with these and uh, I'll show you why. So back onto our little chord group here. Uh, we're gonna use that same beat. Okay, you can already hear something's going on. So what's the delay? Uh, it, it's something that takes the incoming signal and repeats it based on time and feedback. Time is the spacing of the repeats and feedback is how many repeats. And some delays, you can go really, really high and it will start feeding back in on itself, which is pretty neat. Now, this is kind of chaotic right now, but if I go into uh, the sync type right here, right now you have free, so I can go and do really tiny millisecond delays. And hey, look at that. Really, really tiny delays give you kind of like a feedback, a harmonic feedback sound. Why am I doing this with by hand when I can use this built-in modulation circuit? So this modulation circuit here, circuit, <laughs> this modulation panel here now is modulating that thing I was just playing with over there. Yeah, it's fun to do it by hand and I can modulate this. Uh, I can automate this if I want by recording this automation, which I probably would do if I was actually trying to make IDM, but I'm not at the moment. So we'll turn that down. Um, but sometimes you want to actually like make a little bit more sense. So he says making chaos out of it. Um, um, so I can uh, go in and choose. Oh, actually here, I wanna do this. <laughs> it's cool that you can set a BPM, but uh, that's not what I was going for. I want um, the host or Ableton Live up here with its tempo to tell this uh, a beat amount that I want this to delay at. All right, dotted eighth is a pretty classic uh, delay amount. So again, feedback is gonna say how many of those I go. Ping pong is gonna make that delay go back and forth, which is really nice. And uh, we haven't even like covered half this shit yet. Okay, so it has a freezer. So if I hit this, it's gonna freeze the delay signal. And then I have that in a buffer. That I can then play with, which is pretty cool. Let me go back to single. All right, cool. Um, wet dry mix uh, right here. So we'll turn down the delay a little bit. And then um, spring. Is a spring reverb. Nice to have that there. Attack makes this a dynamic delay. So um, I don't remember if you saw the video I did where the TC2290 delay thing, and I'm actually Ableton's Echo has this in too, but basically it's gonna look at the incoming signal and say, don't come in um, until uh, a certain threshold. Uh, don't delay, don't come in until a certain threshold has passed and dropped. So that's kind of cool to have. Um, all right. So a uh, filter, which is really, really nice. Let's see. And um, so you can darken your delays. You can brighten your delays. You can do some kind of combination in between. And there are uh, a number of different filter types here, which is pretty cool. And of course, you can modulate that. Which is pretty nice.
very cool. All right, turn that down. And then finally, not finally, second to finally, we got some really cool saturation and destruction effects here at the end. crazy effects there and then um another set of filters for the whole signal if you want a tremolo which is a volume effect with a little lfo on it and a very nice phaser so now we're getting just trippy as hell fucking cool that is spaceship delay is two thumbs up from me all right another weird ass delay is the Valhalla freak echo Valhalla is another one of those amazing manufacturers of things their reverbs and delays are really 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 good shimmer i have from them it's really 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 good this one's pretty cool too um and more, uh, not really diving into traditional delay world. It's just more of an, uh, a colorful effect. Um, spaceship delay, you can get some pretty traditional delay stuff out of. This one, not so much. So first of all, let's turn the mix all the way down. So mix, wet, dry. Delay. We played with this control on the other one. And here it slides nicely and the pitch kind of goes around. That's, that's kind of like an analog delay emulation thing. And I can uh, set um, beat amounts here. Shift is where this thing starts to get interesting. It has a frequency shifter built into it. I'm Spongle all of a sudden. Simon Posford, eat your goddamn heart out. Anyways, you get the idea. Wouldn't necessarily call it a one trick pony, but uh, a very cool trick pony. Good pony. Okay, cool. So we got a couple really neat delays. Uh, one that can be used for traditional delay effects and also some really amazing um, trippy effects and one that just makes you sound like Spongle. Hey, thanks for watching my series on the best free VSTs of all time, according to the Lander website. If you'd like to check out one of the other videos about different effects or synthesizers, click one of the links above. And uh, yeah, I hope that you're just, I hope that you're doing great. <laughs>